Hello? Hey, you left the door open. Mrs. Bernstein? Oh my God. Mrs. Bernstein? One guy. Lady lived here 50 years. Alone? Alone. Guy ejaculated on her thigh. Take a look at this. Tied up with her own support hose. Attacker came unprepared. The rape was probably an afterthought. How do you get those thoughts about somebody who looks like your grandmother? Lenora Bernstein. Got up, had tea and toast as she did every morning. Went and filled the bird feeder outside her window. Then she crawled back in bed to warm up. Some junkie scale came in through the window. She forgot the lock, tied her up, gagged her. Robbed and raped her. She was an old lady. How old is old? 72. Who was there to notify? Uh, she was a widow. Her only son's already dead. There's got to be somebody. Well, I'll tell you, this is uh, not an address book. It's the obits. Names crossed out, funeral cards in between every page. As if it weren't terrifying enough facing the twilight years alone. This is one crime I just do not get. What kind of man rapes a little old lady? Sexually inexperienced. Late teens, early 20s, a social misfit. If he's been employed at all, it's intermittent menial work. Projected mother rage? Well, that would track. His mother may have molested him or abandoned him. No disrespect to your psychological training, but I'd really like to hear from the perp himself how he felt about his mother. How are you doing today? We'd like you to take a look at this for us. Hey, any help you need on this, you come see me 24-7. These the guys that did it? At this point, we're just looking to see if anybody saw them in the building. Or the general proximity, maybe when you drove up. No, but if it'll help you nail these guys, I can say whatever you want. Yeah, that's uh, not what we're looking for. Well, it's just, it's just so horrible what happened to that poor lady. I feel like I didn't do enough. I kept thinking the CPR was going to save her, you know? No, we know. How about your partner, Jimmy? He was down in the truck. Where was it parked? Right out in front. Jimmy, take a look at these for us, please. Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. Oh, yeah. A friend of mine does these down on Amsterdam Avenue, but he's not this good. These are really good. Meaning you recognize them? Sure do. What's up, I know you're smart. This is something. Down the block. What's up, Jago? What's going on, baby? How you feel? This looks a little more promising. What I'll tell you about that, what I'll tell you about that. Give me money, give me money. Yo, yo, break, break. Bonus. Meet up at the block. Police! Oh, yo, yo. Break, break, break. Right there, pal. Right there. Oh! Oh, against the fence. Against the fence. What are you talking to that hand? Hey, you're in my pocket, man! As soon as I hit bottom. I think I found half. Ooh, what's this? I'll be gentle with this one. Poor deer retains water in her ankles. Oh, really? You scored salicylamide, a diuretic genius. What? It won't get you high, but you will shed those unsightly water pounds. Usted me está complicando, you douche. Yo, hip hop, you want some Mirandizing in English and Spanish? We can do it. What do we got? Bernstein, Lenora. You know, Lenore, that's a coincidence. Let's go talk about it. What's we'll another fossil? You know, this year not. Enjoying your stay? Yeah, making friends, I see. You're just here to check on the welfare of my client? Yeah. Doesn't look like he's weathered his last three days in here too well. Now, how do you think you're going to handle the next 15 years? Carlos says that's not going to happen. Ah, Carlos. From the looks of things, you keep listening to Carlos, you're going to end up dead. Your point? We talked to the DA. He gives us the rapist. She will drop him down at third degree robbery. At 17, they can sentence you as a youthful offender. You could pull a year and a half. Maybe even probation. No jail time. That's possible. Is Carlos going to get it, too? Nope. Only one of you. Can I think about it? I don't really know what there is to think about. This is a once-in-a-lifetime offer.
Okay, you want to think about it? You got 12 hours, but you better think very hard because this is the biggest decision of your life. Then it goes to Carlos. And you know he's going to take it in a heartbeat. Any messages for us? Not about Alfonso. Idiot. He wouldn't take the deal? He wants it. He just doesn't want to screw over Carlos. Carlos would sell his own mother for half a pack of Marlboro? Yep. DA's office just called. You got to take her on your deal. They're waiting for you. What are you doing here? Well, I heard there was a deal on the table. On Alfonso's table. Alfonso had a dilemma. He asked for my advice, and as his friend, I had to cancel him against it. My client, on the other hand, is quite amenable to the terms. Shall we begin? I mean, where do you want me to start? Where we came through the window? Who's we? Well, Alfonso, I thought, was going to bail right there. You know, I thought he was going to cry. What about the other guy? But she don't got nothing. So I trashed the place. I teach that bitch. But all of a sudden, there's this, uh, this noise. What kind of noise? A cuckoo clock. Only it's freaky loud. I mean, Alfonso almost fills his drawers. I mean, he takes off right out the door. Yeah, how many times did a cuckoo? Once. Once on the half hour, 9.30. So I uh, chase down Alfonso. I catch him halfway down the stairs. Leaving your other guy alone with Mrs. Bernstein? I don't leave nobody. Let me explain something to you. You jerk us around, you jerk your deal off the table. <laughs> So I drag Alfonso's sorry ass back. But there's this guy outside the door, a white guy, beige uniform. OK, why don't we just hold on right here? You're saying none of you raped her. The guy was carrying a clipboard. You know, had a logo in his pocket, a bunch of letters, but it didn't spell anything. Anyways, this guy walks through the door that we left open. So Alfonso was like, yo, whoa, we trashed the place, man. We need to get out of here. You're telling us the delivery man raped her? Yeah. I mean, how sick is that? Huh? The delivery guy? According to Carlos. You're not one of his drug addled delinquent buddies, but the good citizen who tried to save him? Yeah, right. Carlos definitely saw him go in. He described his uniform with the company name. And there are holes in Stan's store. Yeah, they saw him go in at 9.30, but Stan didn't call 911 for another 23 minutes. Gee, what can you do in 23 minutes? What can't you do? You know, we're talking about the guy who called it in and stayed there while EMS tried to resuscitate him. Guy starts a fire, reports it, helps firefighters put it out. Hero syndrome. Or Carlos takes a real hero and turns him into the patsy. It's called schmuck syndrome. Yeah, I must admit, the elderly victim, the hurried nature of the sex act, it's more consistent with the less mature offender. Like a Carlos. We're going to have to tread lightly here, folks. I mean, Stan made every paper. We don't want another Richard Jewell on our hands, all right? So check him out thoroughly before you make any moves. Jimmy, isn't it? Yeah. Who, who are you? Detectives Jeffries and Munch. You on your way to work? Yeah. I have to be there by 9. I understand it's enjoyable work for your partner Stan, at least. Uh, Stan the man. Yeah, we heard he was really irresistible. We also heard that he's boffing half the women on the route. Really? If you know anything, you better just tell us. Otherwise, we have to charge you with obstruction. What do you want to know? Well, you two in that truck cooped up for hours every day, stand the talker, I'm sure sex comes up. Oh, yeah. He ever tell you about having sex with women you deliver to? All the time. Yeah. Special deliveries, he calls them. What about Mrs. Bernstein? What about her? You ever make a special delivery to her? Nope. I have to pick up a newspaper. I think he knows more than he's telling us. Volumes. I think it's time we talk to the man himself. Hey, what brings you down here? Oh, we need you to clear up a few things for us. Anything I can do to help? Actually, it'd be easier if you did this down at the station. You mind? I still got deliveries to make. They can wait. For the last time, I never did any customers. Not once, never. That's not what we heard. I've been known to brag, all right? <laughs> OK, lie. Like you lied on your job application. You didn't mention that you were an ex-con. Of course not. I'm not stupid. They wouldn't have hired me. I think they'll keep you when they find out you raped Mrs. Bernstein. I never touched that woman. Carlos, do you recognize anyone? No. Take your time. Look, I don't need no time. He's not there. What y'all trying to play here? All right, they can go. Send in the next group. Now, what's wrong with you? I told you exactly who it was, and he ain't even there. Now you're trying to screw. 
That's him. Which one? Number one. That Gilligan's Island looking dude, I remember because that's the long, dopey face I saw. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, am I free to go now? I think my client's fulfilled his side of the deal. Only if it leads to an arrest. I'll send over the paperwork when it does. 